Princess Cruises have just announced their 2021 and 2022 season from Australia and New Zealand, including their World Cruise, the famous Round Australia Cruise and others. So I'm going to tell you all about them. I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy. Thank you to all of you that have subscribed to the channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Amidst the chaos of 2020, it's fantastic to finally get some good news, in this case from Princess Cruises, and it is about their 2021 and 2022 Australia, New Zealand deployment, including a lot of repositioning cruises, round Australia cruise, as well as the famous World Cruise. For the first time ever, we'll have the maiden season down under for Coral Princess and Royal Princess, and in both cases, these ships have not been down under before, so I'm quite excited for them to get here next year. Starting with domestic cruises, Princess have announced a huge range that will see us being able to sail in local waters on a number of ships and experiencing some domestic delights, including Queensland cruises from Brisbane, Melbourne and Sydney, ranging from 7 to 14 nights. Taking in the beautiful North Queensland coast as well as the Great Barrier Reef, these cruises will offer you a tropical experience right here in our own backyard. The Southern Explorer cruise departs a round trip from Melbourne for six or seven nights, and the seven night cruise in particular takes in Kangaroo Island and Phillip Island, both amazing locations to see again in our own backyard. And of course, a Princess cruise season wouldn't be complete without some Tasmania round trip cruises from Melbourne and Sydney, and they range all the way from four to 10 nights. So you can definitely fit in an amazing cruise around Australia and experience our own local delights here down under. But of course, the main attraction is the 28 night round Australia cruise that is a princess favorite. And there are many people that have done this cruise that will do it again. And this time for the first time, it will be 28 nights round trip from Sydney on board Coral Princess. Coral Princess is a ship that has not been down here before. She's quite special in that she's only one of two ships of a specific class. Coral Princess in this case is a great mid-sized ship. She's not too large and she'll be the perfect vessel to experience this amazing country, the entire coastline of it uh, on board. And she departs for her 28 night voyage on the 16th of March in 2022 taking in 12 ports, including the amazing Kimberley Coast Scenic Cruising Day. This 28 night voyage sells out very quickly and especially for the mini suite and suite categories, they always go. So I suggest that if you are interested in booking onto this cruise, you let me know and get your reservation in ASAP. And later in the video, I'll tell you when these go on sale. And of course, there will be a complete range of New Zealand cruises, including round trip, and also one-way trips from Auckland to Sydney and Sydney to Auckland as well. And the South Pacific hasn't been forgotten. There will be cruises to the South Pacific, to Fiji, to Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands. For those of you that are a fan of the longer cruises, there is the other famous Princess Cruise 35 nights to the Hawaiian Islands and back round trip from Sydney. This departs on the 13th of April 2022 on Coral Princess. It takes in islands of the South Pacific, including Numea, Fiji, and then heads to five days in Hawaii. After spending five amazing days in Hawaii, you'll head back towards Australia, but not before you stop at Tahiti and in particular Bora Bora, which is one of the most incredible island destinations on the planet, and you'll get to see it on this amazing cruise. You'll also cross the International Dateline, which is an experience in itself. If you've done it before, you'll know what I mean. And then finally stop at New Zealand for a quick trip before you head back to Sydney. For those of you that love your one-way journeys, and I know that there are a few out there, there are definitely a range of Pacific crossings to take in. Between 27 and 29 nights, you can choose to sail from Sydney to San Francisco or Sydney to LA. Both cruises departing in 2022. And 2021, we have a couple of options that will head to Sydney from both Seattle and LA. And for those of you that want to head to Asia, you can do that as well. We have Sydney to Hong Kong and Sydney to Tokyo cruises in 2022 and a Singapore to Sydney cruise in 2021. And if you love a short cruise, you're not forgotten either. There are a number of cruises to choose from between two and four nights that will either take you just on a round trip uh, out of Sydney and back to Sydney, for example, or some cases they have a couple of repositioning cruises from say Sydney to Melbourne and Sydney to Brisbane. So there's uh, a couple of options there that are fantastic value, great way to get away for a couple of days and uh, not make it a big trip if that's more your style. 
And so of course, when do these go on sale? September 15 is the date for elite members of Princess Cruises Captain Circle. Elite is the top tier of the Captain Circle loyalty program and if you are lucky enough to be part of that group, you can get your reservation in on September 15th. For everybody else, the general public release is on September 16th, the very next day at 9 a.m. As I mentioned earlier, these cruises do sell out very quickly, in particular the long ones, which you might not think, but they do. And the suites and mini suites are also the ones that tend to go fast. So if you are interested in any of these longer departures in particular, uh, reach out to me and let me know and we'll get you booked on there. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you're as excited as I am for the Princess Cruises itinerary release. I know that I definitely will be jumping on Coral Princess and hopefully Royal Princess when they make their way down under. So if you are interested in booking, please head to my website or reach out to me, thecruiseandtravelguy.com.au. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the Cruise and Travel Guy. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. I do appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I will see you soon. One in particular of interest takes in Phillip Island and Kangaroo Island. So a great experience down there on those places that are very good. But of course the piece de resistance, I shouldn't speak French. <laughs> After spending five incredible days in the tropical island nation of Hawaii, it's not a nation. And as far as our long cruise options go, there is the amazing Circle Pacific, which is... Is that what it's called? Then heads to Hawaii where you have, I believe, five days of... I should probably just look that up.